what is well, that's what I was gonna say. So if you don't believe in Reiki, if you've never experienced it, let me tell you how real it is. And what's neat with Reiki is it is channeling the universe's energy. It's bringing it in and offering it to someone else. So you're just a funnel, a channel for it. So it's like if you have people who are, are in churches, it's kind of like when the elders lay their hands on you or something like that. It's healing. And when you start with Reiki, you have to go through Reiki level one, Reiki two, and then Reiki mastery level. And you can do those. I've seen some massage schools do it in a weekend that you get one and two. And I don't want to talk bad about anything. That's not the traditional way. Mm -hmm. And so the traditional way, I think, and I'm going to misspeak this. So please don't quote me when I'm saying traditional. I think level one is two attunements. Level two is three attunements and then mastery. And the traditional way of that it was originally kind of created, channeled, um, is that you do it 21 days apart with each attunement. Mm. And so when I did my Reiki levels, it actually took me two years to get through them all because I would do it 21 days apart, get the next attunement. I would fast for three days before so that my body was really pure. And it, it definitely, um, there's a lot that you absorb. There's a lot that your body processes. So I can't imagine doing it in a weekend right? with the healing crisis that happens afterwards. So the way that I visualize myself is it's basically like a PVC pipe from my crown to my root that is what the loving light of the universe energy funnels in and then funnels out my hands. Mm -hmm. And so that's where it comes out my hands into the recipient, person, cat, myself, whatever. Uh, and it's, it's really just a beautiful, that white loving light that we all feel or want to see in meditation is what, and so it's not that I have a gift. It's not that I'm anything special. Anybody can become attuned to Reiki by finding your master. And, and to me, it's a very sacred um, process. Yeah. And, you know, when I, I started, it actually took me quite some time to find my master. And it, it was somebody I randomly met at a workshop and she walked in and I was just like, I need to be with that person, not be with, but you know, I need to meet yeah. and talk to that person. And she became my master. 